Hello everyone, this is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to spend a few moments configuring SNMP within Prism Element. The first thing that we do is we click on Home and then we navigate to our settings. We scroll down till we get to SNMP and the very first thing we need to do is enable a transport. So we click on New Transport and here you have your choice. We have TCP, UDP, as well as both variants of IPv6 for those. So here we're going to choose UDP. And then our port number we're going to use is 162. Many times UDP leverages 162, TCP IP can leverage 162 or 161. We hit save. Now that we have a transport configured, we need to add a user. We're going to go ahead and add a user. And so this is just going to be our SNMP test user. And with our configuration, we have a private key and then an authentication type. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in both of those keys, click save. Now I have a transport and a user. The next thing we need to do is figure out who's going to receive the traps. So we click new trap receiver. Now we're going to add in the receiver name. Now we have SNMP version V2C or V3. In this configuration, we're going to use V2C. Our community name, we're going to change to Nutanix. Our address that we're going to choose here is going to be 10.46.23.11. And we have our port number already defined. Inform is going to be true. And then again, our transport option, we could change it right here if we wanted to override the previous settings. Then we click Save. Now we're configured. On your SNMP monitoring tool, we do provide a MIB package for you. You simply click on the View MIB option, uh, and then it will provide you the MIB as well as all of the details that are required. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up SNMP within Prism Element. Thanks and have a great day.